everyone, Genome here, coming to you with my next episode in the Dollar Tree Gourmet series. The series where I take a look back at different foodstuffs that can be acquired at the Dollar Tree for the great price of $1.25 and let you know if they're any good or not. So today, um, I'm gonna be trying something, uh, a non-alcoholic version, uh, something I have not had in a very long time, and that is sangria, right? Um, Specifically, this one is uh, Sangria Senoria. Uh, forgive my enunciation and or pronunciations. Are you doing an accent? Uh, but this one is a sparkling non-alcoholic sangria, uh, natural and artificial flavor. So uh, I don't drink anymore, so <laughs> it's just as well that uh, it's non-alcoholic. But uh, anyway, I want to, uh, I don't know, just see how it, it comes out flavor-wise. Um, Let's see, uh, let's see, we carbonated, I think it's carbonated, contains no juice, that's something, yeah, carbonated water. So this is gonna be like a bubbly sangria, I guess, but we'll see um, how it tastes. Pretty good sized bottles, 25 fluid ounces, so it is a screw cap, so. And here is the label, in case you're interested. Okay, let's see how it tastes. Definitely carbonated. And I got the clear wine glass here, just so you can see the color and all that. Let's see. Delicate nose and bouquet. <laughs> you wanna hear something bad? It smells like Elmer's glue. <laughs> That's exactly what it smells like to me. That's what I was going to say. Let's take a look. Okay, color appears right. Though a bit brown, more brown than red. Uh, sangria actually standing for bloodletting is a drink of Spain and Portugal originally, and usually it is an alcoholic red wine beverage that's mixed with fresh fruits. Uh, I think typically like orange slices and uh, you know, blueberries, whatever it is you have, basically around there. Um, so let's take a look. Yeah, like I said, it looks more like a soda, as bubbly as it is here. Let me uh, see if you can see it on B-roll here. But uh, all right, let's give her a try. Interesting, interesting. Not as bold a flavor as I would like. Like it loses a bit of the fruitiness of the red wine itself. But actually, not a bad, refreshing drink here. Heavily carbonated, it reminds me of a, um, a Sprite or the 7-Up with that kind of carbonation. I'm trying to figure out the flavor here. It really doesn't remind me too much of actual sangria, but it's pretty good nonetheless. Actually, it reminds me quite a bit of a ginger ale. Now I think about it, and it's got the small bubbles too, like a ginger ale would. <clears throat> but actually quite refreshing. Um, I could really see uh, drinking this on a hot summer day after mowing your lawn or something. Yeah, it tastes good. Uh, pretty good. Uh, I would like a little bit stronger flavor, but honestly speaking, I would probably rather drink this than most sodas that are out there. Yeah, it's almost like a, um, a darker ginger ale, but um, if it, it doesn't make much sense, but with a, um, <clears throat> a milder flavor than like a stronger ginger ale. Man, yeah, uh, it's not bad. It really isn't. It's, it's Maybe if someone poured a little apple juice into a ginger ale or maybe a little white grape juice. This doesn't taste like red grapes, which is surprising, which is kind of the thing with sangria, right? But, and I love grape juice. But uh, yeah, kind of refreshing, fla flavorful-ish, tasty. I'd say this is worth a bottle of 25. Plus, you get a giant bottle of it. I would, like I said, I'd rather drink this than a Coke or um, a Sprite. Just about any of them, really, uh, other than like Dr. Pepper, Mr. Pibb, those are the ones I like the best, but yeah, that's actually not too bad. So yeah, I'd get that and recommend uh, from Dollar Tree, so not bad. They usually have tons of this stuff, I notice, when um, we go there. So uh, yeah, hopefully the rest of uh, the specialties that they sell there will be as surprising as this. Like I said, it could use just a little more red wine or red grape. Uh, flavor to be more sangria like but really it's it's not bad and it's quite refreshing quite bubbly and uh, a pretty good flavor and a great value for $1. twenty-five. plastic bottle so but not too bad so anyway thanks for watching uh, stay tuned for more episodes of the Dollar Tree Gourmet and until next time this is Genome 
toasting you with this non-alcoholic, grape-like substance.